Dave Ketna, old school entrepreneur meets new school. When Robert and I met, it was like meeting a real life hero. Of course I had read Rich Dad Poor Dad, but what really changed my life was when I read Robert's second book, Cashflow Quadrant. We'll talk about the quadrant in later chapters, but for this part of the story you need to know that I was an employee, and a. As an a, I was never in control of my life. My boss was in control of my life. My boss determined when I worked, when I woke, the quality of living I could experience, even my healthcare quality. But worst of all, my boss, to a large extent, controlled my thoughts and the thoughts I was being forced to put in others' heads. But it's not that way now. In May 2009, I left my instructional specialist position with the Peoria Unified School District to focus on my internet-based home business. I had worked for the district in this position where I mentored and coached teachers in all areas of teaching in the school curriculum for six years. Prior to that, I had taught as a classroom teacher for six years for a variety of schools including two years teaching English communication in Japan. When I quit my, safe, school district position, I remember many people wondering why I was doing it, including my parents and grandmother who were very clear that I was making a huge mistake. They claimed that I was giving up on everything I had worked for including my expensive college education. I had just completed my master's degree in educational technology two years earlier. Plus they asserted that I would no longer have paid health insurance and would depend on supporting my son and I on an income that was not guaranteed. That's how Robert really opened my eyes. My job wasn't guaranteed. My job was at the women mercy of others. If I truly wanted security, I would be better off relying on myself. In addition to the power of relying on myself, what my family and others never factored into this equation was the fact that I neither was no longer happy working a job where I was required to teach something that I no longer believed in nor supported. Don't get me wrong, I love teaching others, especially teachers. I loved having a direct impact on not just one classroom of students, but entire schools. My philosophy has always been to do what I can in my lifetime using the skill set that I have been blessed with to have a positive direct input on as many people as possible. Through this philosophy, it is my goal to make this world a better place one person at a time. The reason I decided to be a teacher was to have this impact on students while their own minds and philosophies were still being developed. In addition, I attribute a great deal of who I am today to the teachers and coaches that helped shape my mindset and open my eyes to the tremendous possibilities that this life offers each and every one of us. It was the passion from some of my key teachers and athletic coaches in my upbringing that made a difference in my life, and gave me this desire to also be a teacher and coach. Unfortunately, working for the school district as an instructional specialist took a toll on me. Year after year, the state of Arizona would make cuts to the education budget and I would see its negative effects directly hurting students and the educators in the classroom. The administration would continually ask more and more of the teachers while their salaries, which were supposed to incrementally increase each year, would be frozen. Even the continual education that teachers were forced to do to maintain their teaching certificates did not take place. I think the biggest reason, though, that I began looking elsewhere for what I wanted to do, was when I realized how it had become a chore for me to get up every morning and go to work. Not only did I not enjoy it anymore, but I was becoming unhealthy as well. I was getting sick more often and had less energy. I even noticed that more and more teachers were getting sick as well, including some that were having serious health issues at a very young age. I knew that I needed to find a less stressful option. In my position as an instructional specialist, I found that I was being forced to teach my fellow teachers things that I no longer believed. How could I tell them to teach in certain ways and use particular methods that the district wanted when I did not even believe in them? At that time, I wanted to instead teach them some of the things that I had been learning to do in my spare time on the internet to better make ends meet, but could not because it was a huge conflict of interest. Many teachers were forced to find other ways to make ends meet since their salaries were actually resulting in less and less pay when factoring in yearly inflation. I fell into this need as well, but instead of working summer school or acquiring a part-time hourly job, I decided to find ways to work from home using the power of the internet. I actually started my quest for finding ways to monetize the internet when I began my first venture in 1998. I registered my company trade name with the state of Arizona and opened my first business bank account. I dabbled in the internet marketing Nietzsche buying courses, researching internet marketers that were succeeding online, and attending internet marketing conferences to learn all that I could. I set up my own e-commerce website in January 2003 and began taking orders and supplied them via dropshipping. I slowly built up my product selling business along with a few other internet marketing ventures to a yearly income that was generating more than what I was making working full-time for the school district. So, given the fact that I no longer enjoyed what I was doing full-time even though I loved teaching, I gave my resignation to my boss after the 2008-2009 school year and have never looked back since. Now I am blessed to be able to do what I truly love while making an amazing income working with my wife full-time from home. We have partnered with incredible people, learned from the top marketing programs, and are now able to teach others how to generate their own success building their home businesses online. 
I have been able to take my passion to teach and my drive to help others succeed into an entirely new realm and it is awesome.